With two away, Tyro Estrada crushed a long home run off Canely to give the Bombers a 1-0 lead over the Yankees in the top of the fifth. Miguel Andujar stepped into the box with an aggressive mindset, and he drilled a home run to the short porch and right off Cole to give the Bombers an early 1-0 lead. Tyro Estrada led off the top of the sixth off new pitcher Tyler Lyons, and he drilled his second home run of inter-squad play into the seats and left to give the Bombers a 2-1 sixth inning lead. The next batter was Gary Sanchez, and he was all over an inside fastball from Avalon. Sanchez drilled a go-ahead two-run shot into the seats and left to give the Bombers a 5-4-6 inning lead. Let's take another look at that shot from Sanchez. Judge stepped into the box looking to make some noise in his return to the lineup, and he did just that. Judge drilled a home run into Monument Park to give the Yankees a 1-0 lead. As the great John Sterling would say, all rise. Stanton stepped up to the plate with two outs and nobody on, and he drilled one deep down the left field line. It stayed fair and landed in the third row for a solo shot to give the Yankees a 2-0 lead. With two outs and nobody on, Ford got a hold of a fastball and drilled it to deep right field. Judge drifted back to the track and it landed in the bullpen. Mike Ford drilled a home run off Garrett Cole to give the Bombers a 1-0 fourth inning lead. Let's take one more look at that swing. Andujar was the next batter and he drilled one into deep right center. Hicks went back to the wall, he leaped, and it was gone. Andujar and Ford went back to back off Garrett Cole to give the Bombers a 2-0 lead. Let's see that swing from a side angle. As Andujar drilled his second home run off Cole with one away, Gio Rochella drilled one to deep left field. All Frazier could do is turn and watch as Rochella hit a bomb to left to cut the Yankees' deficit to 2-1. Estrada led off the bottom of the sixth against new pitcher Tyler Lyons, and he drilled one into the seats and left. Tyro Estrada hit his third home run of summer camp to tie the game at two in the bottom of the sixth. Let's take one more look at that swing by Estrada. With the two outs and a runner on second, Frazier hit an absolute bomb to left. All Davis could do was turn and watch as Frazier crushed a two-run shot into the second deck and left to give the Yankees a 3-0 lead. One more look at that swing by Frazier. Oswald left an 0-2 fastball over the middle of the plate, and Aaron Judge didn't miss it. Judge drilled a solo shot into the seats and left to give the Yankees an early 1-0 lead. As John Sterling would say, all rise. One more look at the swing by Judge. Sanchez swung at the first pitch and crushed an absolute bomb into left. All Smith could do was turn and watch as Sanchez drilled one into the second deck and left to give the Yankees a 2-0 lead. Let's take another look at that swing and bat flip as the Kraken got all of that one. Voigt worked his third full count of the game, but this time he wasn't taking a walk. Luke Voigt hit a bomb into Monument Park in dead center field to give the Yankees a 3-0 lead. Let's take another look at that sweet swing by King Lewis. Smith hung a 1-1 slider and Judge didn't miss it. Aaron Judge crushed his second bomb into the seats and left. This time a two-run shot to give the Yankees a 5-0 lead. All rise, here comes the Judge. One more look at the swing by Judge, which knocked Smith out of the game. The Mets left Shreve in the game, and that plan backfired immediately. He hung a curveball, and Stanton crushed it deep into the bleachers and left. The solo shot by Stanton gave the Yankees a 6-0 lead. As John Sterling would say, Giancarlo, non se pro sto parlo. Let's take one more look at the swing by Big G as he was all over that hanging breaking ball. The inning actually continued for one more batter during the commercial break, and Aaron Judge drilled a home run over the Yankees' bullpen. This counted on the scoreboard as Aaron Judge hit a solo shot to put the Yankees on the board and make it a 2-1 game. This ended the day for Velasquez, who faced one more batter to get his pitch count a little higher. It was now a 2-1 Phillies lead through five innings of play. Mauricio Yovera came in to get the save, but Mike Ford had something to say about that. Ford got all of a 3-2 pitch and crushed it into the bleachers in deep right field. Ford motored around the bases after his long home run that tied the game at 2 in the bottom of the ninth. One more look at that swing by Ford.